Oh, no! 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 You stupid things! Holy crap! 580? Oh, no, dudes! All right, well... RIP! What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome! Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved! That's right, we're playing here in what is it? Episode number four of the newest season. That's right, Lost Island Primal Fear, baby! Make sure to show that amazing support if you're loving the series by slamming that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, you haven't yet. Seriously, what are you waiting for? It is the perfect time to subscribe. Anyway, we are kicking it off today. Yes, with all of our new tames. We got last episode, a new shoulder pet parrot. So very cute, gonna get named at the end of the episode. And we've got our newest Dinon. Oh, how much I love Dinons. And we got flight, finally. Anyway, uh, the name of the game today is I'd like to get something so that we can make an egg farm and a poop farm so we can start to get crops a going. Um, we will be on our lonesome today. Yeah, Froggy Man, uh, Tuesdays, video coming out Wednesdays. He's never going to be around just because he has doctor's uh, appointments and such. So you'll be hanging out with me today. Anywho, uh, I need to get some polymer which shouldn't be too big of an issue. I might do it the old fashioned way because I haven't seen any mantis yet. Um, Carcanos might be a bit much for us today. And then what else do we need? Cementy paste metal, ooh, and a little bit of oil. Maybe we can find some of that. I do recall, I know we're gonna need uh, obsidian if we wanna make polymer. Um, I do recall in that one cave that Frogman showed us in the very first episode, there was some obsidian. So I'm going to go see if I can grab some of that and, uh, yeah, maybe get some revenge on all those bugs and stuff with our new Dinon. I think it'll be the perfect creature to go caving with. So anyway, let me make my way there and, uh, wish me luck, guys. Ooh, we got a cave. This isn't the one that we went in before, but I kind of want to check it out. See, uh, see if maybe this place. Oh, I think this is the other side of the cave that we went into. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, anyway, uh, we got some obsidian. This is the main thing that we wanted. Uh, I'm going to throw a little Polly off. Polly, uh, you did good, but oh, your name's not Polly yet. I don't know. It might not be. It might be cookies or it might be uh, smart aleck. Who knows? I'll find out at the end of the day. But uh, anyway, I don't want it to die if I die. All right. Getting loads of obsidian. So far, so good. I would go on the Dinon, but actually flight in the cave because we do have cave flying might be the better way to go about it. All right. So far, so good. We don't need too much polymer. Um... We need enough. We also need to make something to be able to craft the polymer. All right. I think this is the entrance. Yes. That we were going in yesterday, uh, the other day. All right. Fair enough. Let's go explore a little bit further in this cave. Hopefully. Wait, 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 wait. I think there's another piece of obsidian here. Give me. Awesome. All right. Let's just go explore. Let's see what else is in this cave. So I remember going down here. It actually doesn't look too spooky today. Loads of metal, too. All right, let's pop this out. Yeah, loads of metal. How was it so dangerous before and not that dangerous today? I just do not know. All right, coming through. What's dead end? Dead end? All right, I remember there was like a little area that we could go down. Oh, more obsidian. All right, let's go grab that real quick. Come here, buddy, bro. And nice. All right, continuing on. Where was that other little spot? It's driving me nuts. I know it's split. This has to be the same cave. Yeah, because it went this way. We just went right, so it would have to be left. Okay, and then... All right, continue to go left. Don't tell me this loops around again. All right, going up. It's 
a cool looking cave though. I'm loving all the, uh, what are they called? Stalactites or stalagmites? Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Splitting into three different directions now. We were just running for a life. We had no idea what we were doing. At least I didn't. All right, more obsidian. Beautiful. All right, buddy bro. Which way should we go? We have three different directions. I just saw more obsidian too, but I think we got enough for now. Oh, yeah. What are you? Oh, an alpha? Holy crap. I don't know if we can do this. Where'd it go? A beetle would be amazing, though. Where'd that scorpion go? Did it fall down? Yeah, I think it fell down. All right. Uh, we need bigger poos. But I guess once we make our poo farm, it could be a thing. Oh, crap. I hear him. I hear him squ all squiggling around. All right. Let's, let's go venture. Let's go see what's down here. All right. We got that scorpion. Ooh. Let's go this way first. All right. Not so bad. That's only an alpha, so we probably actually can take him out. It was a high level one, though. All right, what's going on? Jeez. I gotta remember I don't have a teleporter. Oh, it opens up. Look at all these buggies. All right, buggies, beetles. Ooh, another loot drop. All right, let's go this way. Uh-oh. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm kind of lost already. I've already had to split too many times. All right, looking. Whoa, Nelly. Was that the same? I think that was the same scorpion. I think that just went around in a loop. All right, fair enough. Let's find, oh, look at this. What? That's pretty cool. That is actually, I think it just drops down to like the same level you're at. All right, well, either way, we got loads of obsidian. That's all we really needed. Now let's go find the oil. For that, we could do it the old-fashioned trilobite way. Or if I get lucky enough, I can spy one of those uh, mini whale dudes, those manatees, so that we can harvest them for oil. That would be good, too. Either one's fine. Or we could find legit oil. You know what? Let's go for a little adventure. Let's see if we can find where the real oil's at. Ooh, this looks pretty promising. I'll be honest with you, I didn't even know there was a scorched earth area. Yeah, there's normally loads of oil over in deserts, so we just gotta hope that uh, it stays true with that. Oh, wow. This is so beautiful. That is so nuts. If this doesn't work out, we'll head to the winter biome, but I wanted to save that one for last, just because I do not have good armor for the winter. Oh, but look at loads of metal. And maybe even, is this, that's a dense metal node. We could probably get some salt and sulfur. Oh yeah. Holy crap. Uh, do you see that? There's a lot of scary stuff here though. Spirit Griffin. Yeah, we got to stay away from that. All right. I'm going to keep hunting around, seeing if I can find any oil. I think this is going to be our spot though. I'm pretty dang sure. Man, that was brutal. I, I'm, I'm not saying there isn't any oil in there, but I didn't find it. Um, and it's pretty, pretty sketch to go in there too. There is lots of demonics and celestials and elementals. Oh, I did grab some sulfur, but that's about all I got. So. Looks like we're headed towards the winter. I'm going to wrap around and just see if there's anything else. I'm sure there's also tons underwater, but we're not equipped for that yet. So, carrying on. Wait a minute. I think I found some oil. Hopefully, I can harvest that. I also see a lone mantis, which is halfway dead. Ooh, there's another dead one right next to it. All right, let's take... Come here, come here. Let's spin. All right, let's see if we can harvest. Come on, bro. Nice. All right, we got our polymer. So that's a huge win. Come on. Nice. 
All right, and then if we can get this oil. Oh, we are golden. All right, there is a dire wolf right here. Let's just yelp, take care of them. Come here, dire wolf. Oh crap, what type of mantis is that? Uh, dire wolf, you gotta go. What is that? That, I can't tell. I cannot tell. What are you? Fabled mantis. Ooh, that's that's really scary. We cannot mess with that. Come on, dude. Move it. All right, we got to be quick here. I don't know if we can harvest this or if it's... Ple oh, it's a vein. Crap nuggets. All right, well, we know where an oil vein is if we have to. Usually there's like little bits of oil around it. But I guess not in this case. All right, well, we got the polymer. That's that's a huge win. We can always get oil if we had to from trilobites. All right, I'm going to keep on hunting. There is this other little desert spot here and there. So that's at least promising. And then on the way home, I'll go through the winter biome. All right, cross your fingers for me, guys. We need this. I have to say, after flying around the map, like, we win, yeah, just about all the way around it. And it is gorgeous. One of the best-looking maps I think I've ever seen. There's so many neat biomes and areas and diversities. It's, uh, it, I'm surprised that I haven't tried this before. I'm so happy it's working for modded now. Anyway, I'm um, headed towards the winter biome. I'm just checking out what this weird uh, rock structure is over here. From a distance, it kind of looks like it was an igloo thing, but or you know the the little uh, the little ice islands that always have penguins and stuff. But as I get closer, obviously not it. There's a lot of rocks around it though. I still haven't seen a single oil node, so I don't know if they look different on this map. It is entirely possible. Oh, lordy, this might have been a big mistake. This biome is nasty. And that looks like it's a wyvern trench, possibly. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on, help me. There's wyverns everywhere. Wyvern celestials. I heard a mega pee roar. Oh, come on, oil. Just show yourself. Could, could, oh God, that's an origin. I don't know. Can the oil rocks just look like all the normal oil ones? It's possible any one of those could have been an oil rock and I just didn't see it. Oh, this is bad. I don't think I can land in there and our stamina is almost gone. Oh, we gotta hope there's nothing nasty right here. Oh, good Lord. All right, I think we're going to be doing trilobites. I think I thinks. Yeah, all these look like normal rocks. Oh, I know you guys are going to yell at me and be like, D-Mac, you passed the oil. It was right there. I saw it. I know. This is my first time playing this map, though, so you got to remember that. And I don't want to look it up. I want to find it myself. All right, back at the lighthouse, dropped off all my stuff, and uh, I did happen to notice we do have eight oil, which I likely got from a trilobite from before. Um, I think that might be enough. Let me just see. So what we're trying to do, there's a couple things we're trying to craft, but this only costs seven and we got the polymer. Yes. All right. So this is the main thing we want. Um, let's go ahead, set that down. Uh, what do I have in here? All right, we can move all this stuff. In fact, we can probably destroy all that stuff now. All right, pick up. And put all that back over here. All right, beautiful. So, let's toss this down. Now, this is from the Dino Storage mod. This is what does all those little uh, cryo balls that I pick my guys up in. But... Let's just see. So we have another Pteranodon. Um, and then we have more eggs that we can hatch out. But from in here... So for now, let's go ahead, toss this guy. And then I do have other dinos on me. Our original raptor. And we'll put in Tom Hanks, too. All right, fair enough. Um, we can get eggs uh, from this. And so, in fact, let's go hatch out a, uh, another couple of Pteranodons. Hopefully, hopefully, the temperature is actually good enough. All right, let's see what it says. Incubating! Yes! All right, eight minutes. All right, not a problem. 
So from this, we can get vanilla eggs, which we need for making toxic kibble, I believe. But then also automation. So we can go fertilized, egg collection. Oh, actually this, we can get those to be done a lot quicker. Incubation, unfertilized generation, passive generation, and then uh, miscellaneous and normal poop. And then later when we get a beetle, which I might do later today, that's going to be cool. And then iguanodon seed fruit. We might want an iguanodon for how much seeds that we need, in all honesty. All right. So anyway, that's all a working and a going. So why don't we just check all these things off? But anyway, then once we get the beetle going in, we can say fertilizer per crop plot. So let's set that to be like, I don't know, five for now but this will completely automate it and we should start to see poos coming. All right, it picked up, it took a, it took about a minute, but it picked up all the eggs on uh, that were on the grounds and now they should be ready to hatch in any second. Look at that. Yeah, ooh, we got a couple of really cool colors too. Not bad. All right, um, they're all babies right now, so we're gonna wanna pick them all up um, in this mod, there's tons of different settings if you want to do it for your personal preferences. But we have it set so that if you pick them up and throw it out, it makes them an adult. And bada boom. Of course, we have lots of other things that can do the same thing within the mod pack. But we just decided let's do it like this. All right. So hopefully we got, I forget, I think we had a female. Hopefully we get at least one male out of this. All right, cool. Let's pick them all back up. And later on, there's the, uh, it looks like a paintball gun. The uh, the soul gun that we can just use to uh, pick these guys up faster. But that is gonna cost a little bit more. Actually, we might be, let me see if I can craft it now. I, I always forget how much it costs. It's always cheaper than I think. You know what, we can do it right now. All right, we got it. We got it, moving up in the world. All right, now I can just go like this. Awesome. All right, so we, as long as we got, yep, we got all different genders. Let's go ahead and toss them all in there. Beautiful. And we should start to see unfertilized eggs as well as um, poo start to be generated in this. It takes a little bit of time, but uh, you'll see, you'll see. Okay, about 10 minutes of AFK, and look at that, already four eggs. This would go even faster if we had Nova Raptor put in here, but we've got small and medium poos. That is perfect. So let's go ahead, grab all the medium poos, and then we'll grab all the small poos. Let's go out and see if we can tame a beetle real quick. That would be an automated way of getting oil in that machine, and we know where there's beetles. So, yeah, I think that's going to be our safest bet. Um, the only reason we had to get oil today after the seven to make that was to make the fabricator. And we don't, since we got polymer from the mantis, we didn't actually need to make it today. So leaving that to go overnight would be fine. I'm going to go head back to that cave. Let's try our luck at the beetles. All right, back into the cave. Oh, spooky. All right, I cannot forget there was uh, there was badness in here. Yeah, like this guy. All right, and the beetle was right up here. Ooh, is it a low? Oh my goodness, another scorpion! Fall through! Fall? No, fall down! Fall, fall down! All right, I still see the beetle. Awesome. This cave drop's almost always here. That's pretty awesome. All right, let's grab said cave drop. Ooh. Oh, crap, crap, I hear. <gasps> What's going on? Dude, those scorpions, though. All right, so we have, it should do two medium. All right, I think we should be okay. Oh, man. All right, let's uh, duck down. Let's get our poo into the last slot. We're gonna do medium. All right, Mr. Beetle. All right, wait until hungry. All right, he's not moving. I'm just gonna chill here until it says it's ready. 
All right, ready to eat. And man, this is uh this is a close one. It gets 50.4 uh done finished taming. So just barely because of this level, we were able to get it there. That is awesome. All right, let's scoop them up. Let's scoop them up. If there's another one, I'll I'll snag them uh around here. I didn't notice. Well, actually there was one spot where I remember there was a ton of beetles. But I think there was a ton of scorpions, too. What kind of scorpion are you? All right, Alpha. Al oh, it's an Alpha 600. I try and tame it, but we don't have the kibble for it. Oh, crap. Look at all the scorpions. Alpha. Oh, that dung beetle, though. Is there any way I can get these guys? Oh, I could try and spin on them and see what happens. All right. He doesn't seem to be able to hit me. Oh, I think we could do it. As long as he doesn't hit us. Oh, crap. Yum. Oh, crap. He hit us. He hit us. Bad. Bad. Alert. Alert. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. All right. It didn't do too much to our poor. Where is he? Oh, dude. I need this eye. The chitin too from this. Yeah! Oh, that is awesome. All right, go up and spin. All right, that's just one. We got alpha blood from that too. All right, was this? Oh no, I'm so lost. Where was each tunnel? I don't think that was it. All right, I think there was more though, right? All right, that's another one. All right. Oh, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Holy crap. Oh, I'm almost out of stamina. Oh, this is brutal. Oh, crap. He's right there. Oh, dude, we need our stamina back. Go, stamina. Go, 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 go. Poo, poo. Oh, I don't want to die to this. I do not want to die to this guy. Come on, spin, spin. Holy crap, this one's a bit harder. This one might be an apex. Oh, God. That's not no good. Oh, uh, where are the other ones? Um. Oh, there's even more beetles. All right, hold on. Let's chill right here. Can that guy pathfind to me? If he can't, then we can snag up. Yeah, level 100 beetle. Oh, that would be perfect. That would be perfect. Let's just put our levels in. All right, you got a couple more levels, bro. Awesome. What about me? All right. I think we could do this. All right, medium poo. Please don't pathfind to me. Yes! Oh, this is huge. We can get all of them. As long as he doesn't pathfind to us. All right. Next one, medium poo. That's a level 80. It should be a, uh, a one and done tame. Nice. And that's another level 80. All right. All right, good. I have another. Come on, bro. He can definitely get to us if he sees us. Yes. All right. We got to get out of here. Oh, that was scary. All right, where, where the crap am I? Oh, no. Cave, bigger. Oh, bats. Oh, my goodness. We got to get out of here. We got to go. I could just use the gravestone and, and die, but I'm going to get out legit. Oh, man. Look at all of them just for the taken. Oh. All right. Anyway, uh, one of these is going to take me out. It always does. Oh, crap. Oh my goodness, finally, we are out. Yikes, that was brutal, guys. That took me a while to find my way out. I'm not sure why, but you know, I'm just, I'm just a dink like that. All right, let's head back to the base. Let's put our beetles in. Oh man, this is amazing. Look at how high our torpor went. Oh, if I didn't get out soon, I was gonna get knocked out. Oh, 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 why is Primal Fear so sketchy? Dude, dude, did you see those? They zoomed right by us. 
Holy crap! Back to the lighthouse. Finally, we are back. Let's head on in. Oh, good job, Pteranodon. I know, that was super scary. I'm so proud of you, though. Like, honestly, that, you're a champ. You're an absolute champ. All right, let's pop in here. Loads more poo. Let's put the rest of this poo in here. And let's throw in, we have four. Four beetles. That is a beautiful thing. All right, uh, let me let this process and I'll show you what it does. All right, guys, I've got this on fast forward so you can actually witness it live. Um, yeah, look at, boom! It's making just with the poo, which it's automating. Uh, the beetles are changing it to fertilizer, and then we get an offshoot of, yes, oil each time they convert one. So that's pretty cool. Completely automated. Um, and all we got to do now is throw down some crop plots, and it should put the fertilizer on over into the crop plots for us. All right, out on Pinky Chungus. Remember we named him that? It's so silly. Um, kind of interesting. This guy is a right click too. I'm not entirely sure what the left versus right click does, but in either case, I am getting seeds up the wazoo, which is exactly what we need. And uh, hopefully our fertilizer and everything should be all done. Oh, I think it gets more wood than thatch maybe. Hold on, hold on. Let's wait for that to clear. Yeah, oh no, it's still got more thatch. Yeah, I'm not sure. I have no idea what it does more. Anyway, don't really care either. Let's go ahead, grab all that stuff. All right, good job, Pinky. You did very well. I'd say we got to look out for more elders because uh, they're pretty beastly stats for what they are. And they just take normal kibble. Anyway, coming on up here, let me show you what I've done. Let's go, Pink. So, we've got all the crop plots all set up. They should all now be fertilized, which is cool. Not irrigated, though. So, I'm hoping that with two, is that going to get all of them? That one's obviously going to go. It's going to take a second. There we go. Irrigated, 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 and irrigated. All right, perfect. Now, what I don't have is greenhouse effect um, while being in here. We'll make a better one later, but let me start to sort out all the seeds. Uh, most importantly, we need to have all, uh, let's see, how can I do this? Go there, go there. All right. So we have citronol, we have long grass, we have rock carrot and sav root. Beautiful. And then I know narcos we're going to want a lot of. And then for the other, let's just see, uh, what, what are they called? For these guys, yeah. So we need Tinto and Narco for this one. And I'm sure, let's see, for the next one, it's going to be rare flowers and mushrooms. All right, so Tinto and Narco are the other main important ones. Um, let's first get the uh, the main crops down. All right, the garden is coming together. Oh, so come next episode, we should have plenty of crops for uh, once we're able to start crafting the next tier of kibble. So that is huge. Oh, Froggy Man, you're going to be so surprised. It takes a while to get this stuff set up, but you want to do it early. In fact, we should have done it yesterday. Anyway, um, I think we did pretty good. We didn't really get a tame other than a beetle. Uh, I'm going to take a peek around a little bit to see if I can find any noxious creatures. I haven't seen very many of them, but uh, it is a mod that we have installed that usually we play with Primal Fear. And that's basically torpor giving creatures. I don't have uh, a heck of a lot for knocking things out, but I don't know. Let's try our luck. You know what? I think we have enough to make a harpoon launcher and nets. So I came back to the base to do it. We have enough to do that. Let's try the nets. Oh man, please. Can I make... I know I don't have enough for 10, but... Hey. Um, that's not bad. That's seriously not bad. All right. Well, um, 10 tries. Oh, this is epic. So this is for if we come across something that's too big to be bullied. Let's just get it all loaded up. Oh, 
Okay, okay. All right, this is promising. Let's go, and I have metal on me good, so I can craft up any type of kittle. Kibble. Oh, wish me luck. Oh, guys, guys. Um, yeah, look it, look it. Noxious Thyla. This is an extremely sketchy area. Like, I'm talking extremely. In fact, oh, it's right next to a buffoon. There's explosions and primal fear. Uh, it's really sketchy to try and do anything in these areas. Oh, Lord. All right. Um, what do we have for tranks? I was so worried about that. I forgot to look at my trank stuff. Um, we can, we have that much potent narcotic. All right. For arrows, I can make eight. All right. We'll, we'll see how we do. Oh my goodness. This is so bad. All right. Let's get it loaded up into our bow. I'm going to load into our, what, what's, what's this guy? All right. This one's 580 weapon damage. That's a little bit less, but we'll just go like this for now. All right, um, I didn't notice this guy right here. That is way too much for us to be able to handle, but, oh crap. Why is this gotta be the most awesome thing ever in the sketchiest place ever? All right, maybe the buffoon won't see us, maybe. Oh God, this might be a suicide, oh, Carno, Alpha Carno, oh Lord. Maybe the buffoon won't bother us. All right. I'm going to see if I can. Come on. I'm going to see if I can get this guy peeved. Come on. Come on. And bring him up over here. Come on, dude. All right. He's a little bit away. There still is that Alpha Carno. Oh, crap. No, he's he's right next to the buffoon. Oh, crap. Buffoon, why? Why do you have to be right next to the cool shiny ever? That's a shiny. We, we may never see uh, something that good ever again. Oh, no. All right, I want to get this chitin while we're here. Oh, every little bit helps at this point in the game. All right. Is there two buffoons or is there just the one? There's no way I can kill that buffoon. It, no way. It's got way too high a health. Oh, man. We just got to try and... I mean, I could try and aggro him away. Oh, that's a primal. No, I don't think this is going to happen, but we're going to die trying. We are definitely going to die trying. All right. It's unfortunate that buffoon aggros at us. All right, what's going on with you? We got to pull this dude away from the buffoon and away from that primal. Why is he running? Come on. Come on. Over here. It's like he's scared of me. Oh, dude, this is so bad. All right. I don't know where that other uh, little buffoon dude went. Maybe he won't see us. All right, come on. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. That does not sound good. Oh! Oh, that looks like a Reaper Empress. Or something. Oh, man. All right, let's just do this. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's happening. If we're going to... Oh. If we're gonna no why are you running all right all right all right we got to get this guy out i should have had my stuff loaded all right um dude dude no holy crap they're all gonna come after us oh no all right let's hope they don't see us all right please do a lot of oh that does not do a lot of oh look at how much torbor it has why? Oh, no, 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 you stupid things. Holy crap, 580. Oh, no, dudes. All right, well, rip. All right. 
I think we're going to call it here, guys. I think we're going to call it here. It was it was a good try. You know, I tried for you. But anyway, yeah, let me go through those comments. All right, guys, I just finished going through the comments. And yes, it is now that time. That's right. Time to name the dinos. For those of you that do not know, at the end of every single episode, I go through the comments of the previous episode and I pick out all the most awesomest name suggestions that you guys leave in the down there. That's right. Just remember, if you want to have a chance of getting your name chosen, you got to be a subscriber. So smash that subscribe button and yeah, just comment down below. It is just that easy. Anyway, for today, we have all oh, these three guys to name. So, without any further ado, we have Twister, throwback name that I usually do for my first Pteranodon. We have Sonic for our Dinon. Very cool. And finally, for the parrot, we have Tweet Tweet. Awesome. Love it, guys. Uh, for next episode, I guess if we we're going to name something, it would have to be uh, the Beatles and maybe a second Pteranodon since we hatched them out. So help me out with names. But anyway, uh, yeah, we should be all set and ready for when Froggy Man comes back. So, yeah, that'll be tomorrow. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. As always, show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, seriously, what are you waiting for? It is the perfect time to subscribe. You can also check out the Discord. Yes, which is down below as well as all the mod settings and uh, other socials. Anyway, see you tomorrow, guys. Thanks again. And as always, peace out.